SuffolkCountyProud.com is excited to bring you 2017 Colorado High School Volleyball. Tonight's game features the Roaring Fork Rams and your Moffitt County Bulldogs. Tonight's game is brought to you by these Moffitt County Proud businesses. Craig Family Dental, Severson Supply and Rental, Memorial Regional Health, Bank of Colorado, there's only one, Victory Motors, Hatton Enterprises 24-7, Miller Family Appliance Sales and Service, 3B Enterprises, Sand, Gravel and Rock Products, Cornerstone Realty, GCR Tires and Service, Precision Auto Service, 360 Insurance Company, Justin Cowcheck Agency, Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services, Kramer Flooring, McDonald's, I'm loving it, DNP, Duran and Pierce Contractors, Cook Chevrolet, Ford Subaru, Country Living Realty, Draper Insurance Group, Great Divide Cleaning Service, Chaos Inc., Young Life, Rocky Mountain Machinery, Machines That Move Mountains, your Kubota dealer, Epp and Associates, Rocky Mountain Automotive, Colorado Northwestern Community College, home of the Spartans, Identity Graphics, Craig Veterinary Hospital, Brass Key Realty, and Mountain Air Spray. We'll be right back with our keys to the game. You're watching Bulldog Volleyball on MoffettCountyProud.com. Tonight's keys to the game, sponsored by Craig Family Dental, Memorial Regional Health, Severson Supply, and Bank of Colorado. I'm here with my partner in crime, Shane Hadley. We love doing high school sports, and tonight we're lucky enough to be here at senior night for your Moffitt County Bulldogs. Shane, first key we said was hustle. Hey, tonight when you're playing, it's senior night out here, and, and what a fun environment it is. So you know what? With any sport, you want to leave everything you have on the court, on the floor, on the field. Hustle, 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 so that you know when it's all said and done, you gave everything you had. The Bulldogs are going to win tonight, Shane. It comes to hustle, and that means you got to get dirty. You got to be willing to dive for the ball. You got to be willing to jump left, jump right. You got to talk, you got to communicate, but it comes down to no balls. We're going to hit inside play on our side of the court because somebody is going to hustle and someone is going to dig that ball. Number two, good passes. Well, we've seen several volleyball games up here where we were right with it, and then at a key time, it seems like there's there's one of those passes to a girl who's setting up the spike, and it's just not quite right. So the key, as we're saying, your passes, let's put those on the money. When we're setting up that spike, put it there so the girl can go full extension and put it down with authority. And that brings us to our last key, and that is attitude. Hey Amen. the attitude should be, you're not going to beat me on my floor, especially here on senior night, whether you're the senior who says, hey, this is my last game ever in front of my friends and family, or you're a freshman or a sophomore, you say, my attitude is, I will battle and fight, and I will never give up, never surrender. And when another girl looks at me, she'll see the attitude that I am going to fight to the bitter end. Was talking to a couple of the seniors, well, our two seniors, Jana Camaletti and Josie Timmer, before the game, along with Tiffany Hildebrandt. And they talked, and I said, hey, what are the keys? What do we got to do tonight? And that came straight from those girls. That's what they said. They said, these are the things that we have to do tonight to pull out a big W. We're excited. It's Moffitt County Bulldog Volleyball right here on MoffittCountyProud.com. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Josie Timmer and I am the co-captain of the volleyball team. Um, I'm the right side position. I'm number seven. I've lettered for three years and I've been playing since I was in seventh grade. My fondest memory that I've had in volleyball was last year at the lock-in when we had a lip sync contest with all of our coaches at 2 a.m. in the gym. My greatest accomplishment is probably lettering for three years and being academic all-state first team my junior year. The advice that I'd give to future players is probably to have fun and work hard and to just enjoy the sport while you can because it goes by in the flash. I'd like to thank first my family. They've always been very supportive. My mom and dad have always taught me that hard work is, will always make you very successful in whatever you do and that's definitely been a big part in my sports and my education. Um, I'd also like to thank 
uh, Coach Kinez and Coach Gordy and Coach Shea, they've taught me that winning's not always the, the common goal. I mean, there's way more to it than just winning. It's the sport itself that you fall in love with. And I'd also like to thank Starla Jensen. She was my coach my freshman and sophomore year. Even though she's not around anymore, she definitely makes herself present at all of our volleyball games, or just sending a, a good luck text whenever she can. And uh, my grandparents as well, they have not missed one game since I was in seventh grade. and I'm a senior. I'm number three and I'm an outside hitter. My favorite volleyball memory from last year was our volleyball lock-in and I liked it so much because our coaches did uh, a lip sync thing and it was funny. Um, my favorite memory from volleyball this season was beating Roaring Fork in three games on their home court. If I were to give some advice to future players it to be always to have fun because the four years go by fast. I'd like to thank my parents for always supporting me and my siblings and I'd also like to thank the coaches for always pushing me hard. Both have been fantastic leaders. Josie Timmer, this is her fourth year in volleyball. Um, I had her as a freshman when I was coaching the C team. Uh, she has always been a quiet leader. So she's one of those leaders that comes out and does her job, encourages others, and then constantly keeps motivating the team. And she's stayed that way since her freshman year. So she's been a huge asset. My other senior is Jana Camaletti, and this is her second year in volleyball. Um, I was really excited when she came out last year. She hadn't played in a couple years and decided to give it a try again, and she has been an outstanding outside hitter. Her personality is super fun. It's outgoing. She's a great leader as well. Um, I know she does basketball and a lot of other sports, but she has really shined in the last two years during volleyball, um, and she has been a great co-leader with her teammate, Josie. My friend, it is senior night. Here is the serve, first serve of the night. It's a good one. And let's see if we can get it back into play. And oh, tough start, almost gets it there, but there's the instant point. Okay, Roaring Fork with their second serve of the night, up one to zero. And there is the first bump. Here's the set, here's your first spike of the night, but it's well out of bounds. Two zero lead for the Rams. Timmer will put it up. Lawton with a nice placement, picked up by Roaring Fork, and they'll send it back over the net. Gillette set to Lawton, and still tries to find a vacant spot on that court. Couldn't do it, and Bulldogs aren't able to run it down. Got to have good passes. That's what we talked about. 3-0 lead for the Roaring Fork Rams. Serve taken by Camaletti, brings it straight over. He's gonna land out of bounds, another point for the Rams. Rams on a roll right now. All right, here we go, it's four to zero. A rough start for your Bulldog ladies. Let's see if they can get a bump set spike going. And again, another point, five zero. Be surprised if the Bulldogs go with a timeout here pretty quick. 5-0 deficit. Yeah, a lot of emotions to start this game and it didn't help us. And there is going to be side out, and it's going to be another point. Oh, brutal start. 6-0 run for the Rams. Timmer to Gillette. Camaletti just has to put it over the net from way in backcourt. And it's not going to land where the Bulldogs want. It's a 7-0 lead for the Rams. Hey, as you said, my friend, right now might be that time for that timeout. Get these girls, oh, barely gets that bump, and they're just going to try to get it over the net right now. Roaring Fork now with the bump. Here's the set. They're going to go for the spike, and it's a really nice spike, and it is 7-0 Roaring Fork. So Moffa County calls a timeout, and they'll regroup. Let's see if they can get something going. 8-0 lead and a perfect serve by Roaring Fork, and nothing you can really do on that one. Emily Broadhurst, sophomore right now, serving for... Roaring Fork racking up all these points. There we go. That was a nice hit by Hildebrandt. 
Morning Fork will return. Good pass. Trying to tip it over. Trying to find that void in the Rams' defense. And Hildebrandt not able to quite get that one over the top of the net. Another point for the Rams. Well, here we go, 10-0. We just want to get this young server off the line, and we finally do. I'll take luck anytime. 10-1, Bulldogs behind. Here we go. Here's our first serve of the night. And that's Lawton putting it right directly into the net, making it 11-1. 11-1. Rams with their second server. That will sell long point Bulldogs. Tiffany Hildebrandt now up to serve for the Bulldogs. Junior, good serve. And the Rams will carry it and Bulldogs. Now trying to push towards that, trying to decrease that big lead by the Rams. Well, here we go. Here's the serve for your Lady Bulldogs and it the home run, but you don't want those in this gym. Makes it 12 to 3, running fork ahead. Here we go. Bulldogs over the net. You see a running fork serve game here. Here's the spike. And oh, it's close, but it's on the line. And it's a nice spike. And right now, just not a good game for the Bulldogs. 10 point lead for the Rams, 13-3. Just underway here in game one. And nice jump serve by the Rams, taken by Steele. That's the hustle we're talking about. She's diving on the court, making the play. Bulldogs able to get it back over. And point Bulldogs. There we That's go. That's what we wanted to see. Smile. Yeah, Bulldogs with the serve. And let's see now if we can put this one in and start something positive going. We're back to within 13 to 4. And Roaring Fork with the set over the net. Let's see if the Bulldogs can get the spike here. Let's get over the net with the set. Here's the set. Here's the spike. Oh, and it comes over to the Bulldogs. Nice play here by Lawton. She dinks it over. Here we go again. Roaring Fork sets up their spiker. She doesn't get off the ground, and there's a point for the Bulldogs. <laughs> Here we go, my brother. Here's the serve for the Bulldogs. All right, Gillette with the serve. Nice serve. And set carry by the Rams, and now the Bulldogs are on a run. My That's goodness. the Bulldogs we wanted to see tonight. 6-13, to 13, Bulldogs trail. Drop this in now. You said this is Gillette serving for the Bulldogs, and that's a heck of a serve right there, almost an ace. It's going to be a work just to get over the net. Oh, but we put it right back to him. Roaring Fork dives on the ground to get it, and there is going to be the call. And another point for the Lady Bulldogs, Tip. Oh, right, here we go. Swindler's still up there. I'm sorry. I'll get there. Gillette. Gillette with the serve. Oh, and what a great job. Hey. Up by. Who was that young lady who put her Way to go, Haley right? Herndon. That's how you play the net. And again, Gillette. I said the long last name last night. Here we go. There is a fantastic serve. Let's see what Runford has. Nice reception of that spike. It is set over the net. Here's the set going to be bumped over. Set this up nicely. Here we go. Here's the pass. Here's the spike by our senior. And it's received by Roy Fort. Goes back down. They're going to just try to put it over and it's out of hey, bounds. There and we go. Said, That's good senior play. Jana Camaletti started that right there at this edge with a nice block. And Roy Fort not able to return it. 13 to 9. Bulldogs trail. How about that serve? Bulldogs on the move. Oh and there we go. Hey, how about this? Like my favorite rapper used to say, you don't call it a comeback. I've been here all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. LL Cool J. Got to say, I know who it was. No, I was testing you. You get it right. <laughs> you win 80s trivia. Now, there we go. Nice oh, ball. what a block. That was Herndon and Timber together. That's teamwork. 11 to 13. How about that? As you nailed it, the coach Roaring Fork had a conversation with the official and killed their momentum. But we took grasp of it, and now we're on a roll. <laughs> oh, here we go. Terry Gillette. One heck of a streak of serves going here, and another bullet, and she serves the ace for the Bulldogs. So, Shane, just when you thought that the Bulldogs were out of this first game, I mean, I, I believe it was like 13-1. to 1, We and, tied it up. And now it's tied, 13-13. 12-point run for your Bulldogs. 
Okay, here we are, brand new ball game. Start over, it's 13 to 13. And just like that, your Bulldogs have taken the lead on the power, amazing service of Terry Gillette. So they say that the libero is a defensive specialist, but right now Gillette is an offensive specialist as she is just racking up the points. My goodness. See if she can get another one here. She's just killing it. She dinks that one over the right-hand side. Oh, and it's, they call it out. That was a good call. Very close. Home field advantage right there. Can she be stopped? 17-13, Bulldog lead. Biggest lead of the game. Nice serve, brings it all the way to the back court. And the Rams just can't handle it. They do not have an answer for Gillette. 18-13, Bulldog lead. A lot of ramen noodles. Here we go, Gillette still up there. What a run. It is a game of runs, and right now we're on one heck of a run as another ace for Terry Gillette. Here we go. 19 to 13, your Bulldogs up. Terry Gillette on one of the more epic runs you'll ever see, and it's finally over. No, nope, but oh, it's net. not. Rowing <laughs> fork in the net. 20 to 13, Bulldog lead. Wow. See if Miss Gillette can just finish this game. Five way. It's out, and another score for your Lady Bulldogs, and this is probably the most epic bunch talk, of talk I've about two, two, two sides of the coin. I mean, Rowing Fort goes in, scores like 13 straight points, or at least 12 in a row, and Moffat Woo! County comes right back with a run of their own, and what an amazing turn. Finally, Rowing Fork is able to get it over and answer. Yeah. 21 to 14, what, what? A job by Terry Gillette. We'll take it. Roaring Fork finally gets the serve back. Now Terry Gillette makes a nice bump. Oh, but no one's able to get there. So for the first time in a long time, a couple of points in a row here for Roaring Fork. Now very taken by Timmer. And goes way to back court. And the Bulldogs just have to get it over. That was Herndon sending it to the back court of the Rams. Rams have to just bump it back. Right now, neither team able to set up any sort of a spike as they're just trying to get it over the net. That comes down to accurate passing. You gotta have accurate passing, you gotta have good sets. Gillette will bump it up. There's the first nice set in a while for the Bulldogs. Very nice. And Camiletti tries to find the void in the Rams defense. Rams can't get it back. Point Bulldogs. Here we go. Josie Timmer, one of the seniors for your Bulldogs. Leaves it just a little bit short. Sub in for the Bulldogs. That's number 15, Ebony Smircina on the court. Bulldogs get it over the net with three straight bumps. Roy Fork with the set over the net. Now let's set this up. Let's have a good set and a good spike. And it's nice. Oh, it's had a, had a nice spike, but Ooh. just sailed wide. 22-17. Dang. Go Roaring Fork with what should be their best defensive player, and that's a heck of a serve, and it's going to be tough to receive it. And right now, 22 to 18, and this back and forth, fourth affair continues. I don't know if I've ever seen how important the serve is, but in this game, the team that serves is the team that scores. So the Bulldogs need to get it back. Yeah, 20. We go Roaring Fork again. This is a good server here. Wow. Rocket shot, but it works out in favor of the Bulldogs as they are now within two points of winning this back and forth game. Jenna Camilletti, the other senior for the Bulldogs, leaves it just a little bit low on the net. 23. Just get it. All right, here we go. Roaring Fork with the serve. Bulldogs choose to let it go, but it is in. Wow, that was close. Tailbiter here at the end, my old friend, and you just got to get it over the net right now. Here you go, Roaring Fork sets up their offense. A nice little bump over the net, or set. Set again over the net. See if we can get a good spike here. Oh, there it is, good save. Oh, and Roaring Fork with a 
absolutely huge hit from their tallest player. Makes it a 24-21 game. One more point. Mark, okay, huge call. So one more point here. And we can win it, and there it is. The Bulldogs get it. So the play before, Roink Fork in the net. That one ends it with the ace. 25-21, it was back and forth, but the Bulldogs pull off match number one. Wow. I want to say thank you to all of the Moffat County Proud sponsors that bring you Moffat County Bulldog Sports and Bulldog Volleyball tonight. Severson Supply and Rental, Craig Family Dental, Memorial Regional Health, Bank of Colorado, Victory Motors, Hatton Enterprises, Miller Family Appliance, 3B Enterprises, Cornerstone Realty, GCR Tires and Service, Precision Auto Service, 360 Insurance Company, Mountain West Insurance, Kramer Flooring, McDonald's, Draper Insurance Group, Great Divide Cleaning Service, Chaos Inc., Young Life, Rocky Mountain Machinery, Eppin Associates, Rocky Mountain Automotive, Colorado Northwestern Community College, Identity Graphics, Craig Veterinary Hospital, Brass Key Realty, and Mountain Air Spray. All bringing you tonight's Bulldog Volleyball right here on Bulldog Nation, MoffettCountyProud.com. Game number two, Lawton serving. On the court for the Bulldogs, Lawton, Camaletti, Gillette. We have Hildebrand. Nice dig there by Timmer. Good return by Roinfort. Also, I see Steele on the court. Um, I said Hildebrand and Timmer. So, starting six for your Bulldogs. Hey, Roinfort up 1 0 in this second game, but it's into the net. Ties it up, 1-1. One, one. Here's the serve by the Lady Bulldogs, number 10. That's Tiffany Hildebrandt. Nice serve. Roy Fork with probably the best spike we've seen all night to give them a 2-1 to one lead. Here's the serve, Roy Fork. And this girl has a gun, but she puts it right into the net. And now it makes it 2-2. Two, two. Haley Herndon subs in for your Bulldogs. See if Gillette can do what she did last game. Has a good serve. Bulldogs will get it over. Roaring Fork is not able to return. Point Bulldogs. 3-2 to two lead. Let steps up. And as you said, let's see if she can even get half as many serves in a row as she did last game. It would be epic. Here we go. Set up your offense. There's the bump. There's the nice set. And here's the nice spike off the Roaring Fork defender. Now they come back with their spike, and it's out of bounds. And another point for your Bulldogs and Gillette. Gillette scored 20 unanswered points the last game, and right now she has the hat trick three in a row. We'll see if she can keep adding to it. Bulldogs up five to two. And there she is again with the gun. The sights are on point. Here we go, Roaring Fork happy just to bump it over. Here's the set, here's the spike, lefty. Hey, hey I like that, Shane. monster. The wow, what a swing of events. Bulldogs still, Gillette just shooting lasers and a big spike by your Bulldogs there. Haley Herndon, that's how you do it. They set her up perfectly, she jumped up, put it right back out of defense that wasn't ready. Gillette finally leaves it low, but still, great job. Had several points in a row and got the Bulldogs a comfortable lead at 7-3. Going for it, brings it. Looked like it might have been going a little bit long, but Bulldogs choose to take a chance with it. Can't control it. Point, Rams. Here we go, Ryan Ford with the jump serve, and it is a rocket. Nice reception there. Here we go, just get it over the net. Standing spike. There is a low set. Sets it over, sets up Bulldogs now. Set, here's the spike. Nice spike. Good reception by Roaring Fork, but a bad set. And there's a point for your Bulldogs. County, that's Ebony Smircina, and she will do the honors. Nice serve. Roaring Fork able to get it back over. No. Right now, both teams just battling and getting it over yet. We haven't seen a lot of spikes yet. And as I speak of that, Roaring Fork trying to set up a play. Good hustle by Smircina, but just can't bring it back. Hits into the net. Point, Roaring Fork. Here we go, Roaring Fork with the serve. It's a good one. Gillette doing a great job just to get it back over the net. Now, Roaring Fork struggling, just gonna bump it over the net. Here's our bump, here's our set. Here comes the spike. 
And it's a good one. Looks like he's on the line. Oh, out so by just a little bit. 8 6, Bulldog lead. Strong serve by Roaring Fork. Received by Gillette. Now we're just gonna dink it over. And it's gonna work. It's gonna give the Bulldogs a two-point lead. Jan Jana Camaletti with the serve. Just a little bit wide. Roaring Fork steps back up. Here's the serve. And it is way outside. And it's gonna make this a 10 to 8. Four, I believe the Bulldogs have, yep, there it is. 10 to 8. Yeah. Senior for the Bulldogs. Sophomore. Oh, sorry, Haley Herndon. Nice save by Lawton. Smircino puts it right back over the net. Big spike by Roaring Fork. Sails long, point Bulldogs. Haley Herndon. Trying to get a rally going here for the Bulldogs. This one's been back and forth. Totally different from game number one. Another point for the Bulldogs as that goes long. Nice serve by Herndon. Good idea. Nice job. Bulldogs put it in the right spot. Nice dink by Lawton. And Haley Herndon's got herself three points in a row. Eight Bulldogs up. Here's some serve. It's another good one. Power on that. Finish it. Oh! Just a little bit too much ump on it. And he gives a point to make 13 to 9. What number is that, kid? Where at? For the Royal Fork serving it's number four. Emily Broad. Number four, Emily Broadhurst serving for the Rams. She's the one that racked up 13 in a row last game, but not going to happen this time as the Bulldogs squeak it over. To zero. And here we go. Lawton with the power serve, and it's an ace. Nice. Tiffany Hildebrandt 
19 to 12 lead. Nice serve. Camaletti to Lawton to Steele. She puts it over, but a rolling fork ram is right there. They'll bring it back. Nice spike by the Rams. Almost blocked by Steele and Timmer. 19-14 lead for the Bulldogs. Here we are. Here's the serve for Roaring Fork. And there is the bump. There's the set. There's the standing spike. Roaring Fork receives it. Now they're going to bump it, set it, and there's the set again. Bulldogs once again. Just get over there. Oh, they're going to call the carry in. You knew the score was going to be 19-14. And there it is. about getting a roll, ball stays in play. And we got ourselves a game. 19-15, Bulldogs up by four. Woo, like it was shot out of a rocket. And there it is, pulling them within three. 19-16. Good job, it's out. Now it brings it to 20 to 16, and we're in the stretch run of this game. And we got Gillette coming back to serve. She's been tearing it up tonight. Oh, but she leaves it a little bit long on that one. Great. There's a nice serve, but it's out of bounds. And it's gonna be a point for the Bulldogs. See if she can put it down with authority. 21 to 17, Bulldogs are up. Nice serve, a lot of power there. Forces Roaring Fork to do everything they can just to get it back over the net. And now it's too low, but Bulldogs with a huge volley. All about the hustle, and they put it down, and there's the authority. Big score on the crowd is into it tonight on senior night here at the Bulldog Dog Pound. Smorsino with a great serve. She gets the ace as it just rides the line. 23-17, Bulldogs in control. Jump serve by Smircina. Uh -huh. Leaves it a little bit low. Side out. And this is Lucia Penzel serving for Roinkborg. There's a nice bump, comes back to the Bulldogs and they're not there. And this gets closer again as we are 23. I believe it's gonna be 19, yes, 23 to nine. Here's Penzel again with her serve. It's another good one. See if the Bulldogs can just keep it in play. Oh, and now we're talking that ebb and flow back and forth, and just like that, it is a ball game. Gillette with a nice dig to Herndon. Oh, good dig by Roy Fork, and they put it back over. Gillette tries to find the empty spot. Another nice dig by Roy Fork. Both teams battling it out. Great volley right now. Camaletti puts it over for the Bulldogs. Nice set for Roy Fork. That one's tough. That was a great volley. The oh. advantage goes to Roy Fork. 23 Moffat County. And they're going to talk about it. And 23-21 is... So they're going to replay the last point. 23-20. Bulldogs get it. 24-20 game point coming up for the Bulldogs. Point for the Bulldogs up one game to zero. And the senior going for it. That's Janet Cavaletti. And that's she all gets it. zero. Another W for the Bulldogs. They've won the first two. They got one more to go. Bulldogs win the first two contests. They need one more for the clean sweep. Be a great night, great way to send out your seniors winning back to back to back in straight sets. Especially the way that first game started out, I believe 13 to one. And then to come back like that and show all the heart and effort and hustle, all the things we talked about, including attitude. Great nice, job by the Bulldogs. Uh, nice dig by Lawton, able to keep it alive. Rowing Fork will finish the job on that one, and they'll take a 2-0 lead. 
There's a rocket shot. Bulldogs do a great job just to keep it in play. And they put it up over the net. And nobody wants it, but they get it over. Good volley. Here we go. Set it up now. Oh, just get it over. Great job by Lawton being aware of what was going on. Oh, and there's the little dink, but it doesn't work. A dink and a dunk. Rolling Fork looking to put it back into play. And let's see if we can keep this going. And it's still the best volley by far of the night. Rolling Fork with their little dink. Good job by our front player. Oh, she puts it straight over. Back into action now. Here's the, oh, they're going to call the double hit. And it's a great point for your Lady Bulldogs, making it 2-2. Two to two. Nice serve by Moffat County, but it dug very well by Roy Fork. There's a hard spike by Hildebrandt. Somehow Roy Fork able to keep it in play. Had some of the better volleys here back to back that we've seen in the first couple of games. And Moffat County ties it up. Two to two. See, I knew it was going to be two to two also. Here we go. Here's the Lottenmeister with the serve. And Roaring Fork just trying to get over the net. Here we go. Sets up the Bulldogs. Here's your bump set and spike, and it's out. Just too much up on that one. Way long. Another home run. And that was a nice job right there. Rowing Fork putting it, as they say, put it where they ain't, and it's exactly there. Four to three now. Big center. I bet she plays basketball too. She's very tall. Puts it over with her jump spike. And here we go. Just get it over the net. Put it in play. Keep it in play. Rowing Fork with the nice dive up over the net perfectly. Great job by your Bulldogs. Now Lon puts it over. Hey, and they're having fun out there, Kip. That's teamwork right there. Using it was Steel and Lawton. Lawton jumping over the top of Steel after she had just made a great save. And a nice spike there too by your Bulldogs. And now the quality of play very improved here in this final game, we hope. Oh. Tough loss for the Bulldogs on that one. And that's Gabby Santana. Good server for the visitors. And they put it over Moffat County. Now let's see if they can get their spike. Oh, they're just going to have to get it over. And here we go. Here's coming the spike. Great job by your Bulldogs with that save. Keeping it in play. Back and forth they go. Which side it stops? Nobody knows. Good communication. Oh, but just bad luck and great defensive play there. Okay, here we go. They had a little bit of a discussion there, but the referees got it right. That's why they talked to each other. Oh, rough serve there. Bulldogs will take it, though, as they trail by two. Here's the server, Roaring Fork. Let's get it going now. This right now is where you turn it on. There's a nice standing spike. Oh, and a nice spike for the Bulldogs. And now back over the net. Oh, they're going to call the carry. Going to be a point for your Bulldog lady. Call 20 while we're at it. Josie Timmer with a nice serve. 6 oh. 7, Bulldogs down by one. Timmer, one of the senior captains for the Bulldogs. Ooh, nice wow. serve. Gotta like that. And you put the pressure on Roaring Fork anytime you can serve it with that velocity. Nice job by Herndon. And out. Point Bulldogs, and we're knotted up at seven. So here we go. Old number seven for the Bulldogs. The Southpaw putting that reverse spin on it, and that is tough to receive that serve from a lefty. There's another point in the first lead for your Lady Bulldogs here in this third game of the night. Timmer time. Here we go. See if she can keep this going with this powerful 
southpaw. Here we go. Nice job playing defense by your Bulldogs. And a great job there and as we Tinder put it where they're not. makes it four in a row. Here we go again, your senior, t -t 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 Timmer, with the awesome left-handed serve. And she's putting it down with authority. Oh, we've still got Tim, 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 Timmer. See if she can put it down again. And finally, it's out of bounds. Here we go, Ryan Fork now trailing by two, eight to 10. Here we go, Bulldogs looking for their spike. That is a nice spike. Good defense by Ryan Fork, but a bad serve. Oh, no double hits here. There's another point, making it 11 8. Bulldogs. Nice job, middle of the Bulldog defense there. Number 17, and that's Herndon. 12 8 lead for the Bulldogs. Camilletti will send it over. And Rolling Fork finds the void in the Moffat County offense or defense. Call it 12-9 lead for the Bulldogs. Here's the serve for Rolling Fork. Oh, and it's in the net. I got to give you credit on that one. You found the void. Wow, man. Wow. <laughs> Herndon with a nice serve. That had some speed on it. And Hildebrandt puts it right back over. That's the way you put it down, number 10. Herndon with some nice serves. Point, Roaring Fork, 14 to 2. Here we go, Roaring Fork with the serve. Nice Life. dig by Canaletti. Yeah, just keep it in play tonight. Smircina bump. Lawton set, still finish the job. 15-10, great passing by the Bulldogs. Yeah. Lawton with a nice serve. Wow. Ricochets off two players and a judge. Laser precision. Well, Lawton with the serve. Here we go, just trying to get over. That was a pretty nice spike from back there. Moffat County keeps in play. Who wants it more? Hey, that's still playing tough at the net. That's how you get it done. Yeah. Great, great job by Jaden Steele. The lot with the serve. Steele was giving up. There's another serve, another ace. Now let's talk about it. Steele was giving up about a foot in height to the player across from her, but it didn't matter. But she got the point before that, and then an ace by Lawton, followed up by this serve out of the building. But the damage has been done as it's 18 to soon be 11. So the Bulldogs' lucky number tonight, Shane, was 13. We were down 13 to one, and you thought, oh no, but that ended up being lucky because ever since then, it's been nothing but Bulldogs. They got an 18 to 11 lead right now. Make it 19. Here we go, stretch run now. Call it the seventh inning stretch. See if the Bulldogs can finish this night with three straight games won. There is the spike, it's blocked but it didn't quite get up over the net, so it's a point for Roy Fork. 19 to 12, finish. Yeah, Shane, you said it best. What a great night for the Bulldogs if they can just finish down the stretch here. They can have the clean sweep, and then what a, what a present that would be for the seniors. But they got some work to do, because right now, Roy Fork's not giving it up. 19. Here we go, the serve by Roy Fork again. This is Gabby Santana. Here we go with that big jump serve. Power behind that. Nice job right there by the Bulldogs with the back set. Set up. They're just going to put it over the net now. Got to play defense back and forth. A little dink over the top. And it works out as your Bulldogs now go into 20 to 13 lead. Terry Gillette with the honors. Nice serve. Ball in play. Ryan Fork will send it back across the net. Set to Lawton. Camaletti dinks it over. Ryan Fork puts it right back. Lawton looks the back row. Nothing there. Ryan Fork gets the roll off the top of the net. And it's 20 to 14. Ryan Fork with a six point deficit, and that's not going to help. 
Makes it. Here comes lefty power. He puts it in nicely. Power, very powerful serve. Here we go. Here's the set. It's a nice serve for the spike. Barely saved, and it's not. Nice so, hit by Herndon. That'll do the job. 22 14. Day night. Here's the lefty again. Puts it down hard. Back into the danger zone. 23 to 14 now. Two points away from victory. And another ace. And the senior has the chance to end it right here. 24 to 14. One more point and Bulldogs win. Tim, 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 Timmer. Coming at you with the left hand, the southpaw, the lefty power. Here it is. One point away from victory. And nice oh. serve, gets it over perfectly. Somehow Roy Fork stayed with it. Got to give him credit for that. The set over the net. Here we go. And it sails long. Bulldogs win. Bulldogs win. 25-14 in straight sets. What a great night. So happy to bring you a Bulldogs Lady Volleyball win here in the Bulldog Gymnasium. Hey, check it out. Tell your friends, tell your family. Bulldog Sports on demand. Whether it's soccer, football, or tonight, ladies volleyball, all you got to do is log in. You can go to Facebook. You can go on any of the sites, social media, YouTube, whatever you've got. Check us out. Go to our site, mobcountyproud.com. And tonight, a winner for your Lady Bulldogs. want to give a special congrats out to our two seniors, Jana Camaletti and Josie Timmer. Great job, girls. Great victory. I want to say thank you one more time to all of our sponsors, Craig Family Dental, Severson Supply and Rental, Memorial Regional Health, Bank of Colorado, Victory Motors, Hatton Enterprises, Miller Family Appliance, 3B Enterprises, Cornerstone Realty, GCR Tires and Service, Precision Auto Service, 360 Insurance Company, Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services, Kramer Flooring, McDonald's, Duran and Paris Contractors, Cook, Chevrolet, Ford, Subaru, Country Living Realty, Draper Insurance Group, Great Divide Cleaning Service, Chaos Inc., Young Life, Rocky Mountain Machinery, Depp & Associates, Rocky Mountain Automotive, Colorado Northwestern Community College, Identity Graphics, Craig Veterinary Hospital, Brass Key Realty, and Mountain Airspray. You've been watching Bulldog Volleyball right here on MoffettCountyProud.com.